Now the first step is to restart your computer. Simply restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to unplug all the external devices which you're not using. So if you have these hotas, pedals, wheels or any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnect it. Disconnect extra controller connected to the computer. Disconnect multiple monitor. Try launching game on single monitor. If you're using VPN, close VPN or you can disable VPN and then check. Disable overlay. Now for this go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties and go to the general tab. Turn off the option which is enable the Steam overlay while in game and then check. Now the next step is to disable overlay in Discord. So you can go to Discord settings, go to game overlay and you can disable it. If you have overlay on in GeForce experience, close it. Uh, you can turn it off or you can simply close all the overlay application and then check. Also close all the overclocking application like if you have MSI after burner running or revert unit running, close it. If you have undervolted, you can be able to remove the undervolt. Close all the background application. So make sure only the Steam and the game is running, rest close everything, including all your browsers. If you have any kind of services running in task manager, any third party services, you can end the process in task manager. Close Firefox, Chrome browser or any third party application. If you have undervolted, you can be able to remove the undervolt. Now the next step is to rename or delete the save game files. Now when you rename or delete the save game files, you will lose all the game progress. You have to start everything from scratch. To do So if you agree, you can open File Explorer, go to this PC, open C drive. Now open Users folder. Now open your username folder. Now open App Data folder. If you don't see App Data on the top, click on View, select Show, and then put a check on Hidden Items, and then open App Data, open Local Low. And over here you can see M7 Production underscore at retook. So you can make a right click on this folder and just you can rename it whatever you want. I will just rename it dot old and then you can launch the game and then check. You can even try you can delete this folder and you can launch the game but you will lose all the game progress. Now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. Now for this you can go to Steam make a right click on the game select manage now click on browse local files now over here you will see the game exe file make a right click on the game exe file and then you can go to properties go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok launch the game from here make a double click launch the game if that does not work go to properties and then this time put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply Click on OK, launch the game and then check still not working. Again, make a right click on the game exe file and then this time select Windows 7 over here. Hit apply, click on OK, launch the game still not working. Put a check on disable full screen optimization. Hit apply, click on OK, make a double click launch the game. Now when you put a check on all these boxes still not working, then you can uncheck these boxes. And then hit apply, click on OK, follow the next step. Now the next step is to, if you're using any third party antivirus like a VAST, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you're using, make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now if you're using Windows security, then open Windows settings, go to privacy and security, and then click on Windows security. Now click on virus and threat protection, scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection, click on it. Now click on allow an app through control folder access, click on yes to allow. Click on add and allow that. Click on browse all apps. Now go to the game installation folder. So if the game is installed in C drive, open C drive program files x86. Now open the Steam folder. Now open the Steam apps folder. Now open the common folder. Now open the game folder. Select this exe file. Click on open. Now type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel. Now click on system and security and then click on Windows Defender Firewall. Click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on change settings on the top. Click on allow another app, click on browse and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder. Select this exe file, now click on open and then click on add. In my case, uh, the game is already added. So once the game is added over here, now you can launch the game and then check. Next step is to Try DX11 or DX12 in launch option. So make a right click on the game, select properties. In the launch option, you can type in dash DX11. Now 
you can close this launch the game and then check still not working make a right click once again and this time you can type in dash dx12 now you can launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this and then follow the next step now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website now on this website make sure that you select your series select your graphic card over here now once you select your graphic card over here make sure that you select the right operating system and then click on find now once you click on find you will see this page the latest one the latest driver will be on top so right now it's 560.94 now click on view over here and then click on download and once the download is complete you can run the exe file once you run run the exe file you will see the screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here now select next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and once the installation is complete then restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to laptop users with dual graphic card make sure that you run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphics settings in windows search box and then go to graphics settings click on browse over here go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file click on add once the game is added click on options select high performance now click on save now you can launch the game and then check next step is to verify the game files now for this go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrated game files now click on yes to allow once the verification is 100 complete now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to install visual c file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website here you can see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 download x86 and x64 version so click on the exe file and then run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install in my case it is already installed it's telling me to restart my computer i have already installed it ignore this error now download this x64 and then run this exe file as well now again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install and let the installation complete once both are installed then you will see a restart option restart your computer restart is a must after this and after the system restart you will launch the game next step is to update windows to the latest version this is important so open windows setting go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now the next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 1.5 
1.5 into total RAM. This is my total RAM in megabyte. Now 1.5 into total RAM, total RAM that is into 1.5. So in my case, initial size is 24576. 24576. And maximum size is 3 into total RAM. Now total RAM in my case, that is 16 gigabyte. I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. So 16 into 1024. I have converted this in megabyte. Megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 49152. Now click on set over here. Then click on OK, OK, Apply, OK, OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, you can just make a right click on the game, select manage and then click on uninstall. Now after the uninstall, go to the game installation folder delete the game folder, restart your computer and then install the game to C drive. So if the game installed to D drive, E drive or any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, then try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.